My name is Dio Morales, host of the Gold Squadron podcast. We are streaming live from the Mandalore System Open here in Glendale, Arizona. And we are starting our time. And we're waiting for someone to get back from the washroom here. I um, want to let you guys know that the Top 16 is brought to you by Sling Paint Gaming. Uh, Sling Paint makes stylized full color tokens for Legend of the Fire Rings, Destiny, X Wing, and more. Visit slingpaint.com and the Sling Paint Etsy store to get yours today. Uh, Craig Ferguson, that's no, Craig Ferguson, wow, sorry about that. Craig Walker <laughs> is flying this. Uh, awesome scum squad that I've been wanting to get on stream yesterday just didn't have a chance We're waiting for the time to start all right waiting for the timer and the timer has started They're getting ready to dial. So let's get predictions in here. Give me a one if you think Miranda's going to take it. Give me, uh, excuse me, if you get Miranda Nim flown by Alex Farley's going to take it. Give me a two if you think Craig Walker will be able to uh, leverage his harpoon missiles and be able to take these regenerating and bombing ships off the board. What do we think? Uh, Thweek took the pilot skill. I mean, that's always the right move. All right, we got a lot of votes coming in for Craig here. Masta going one. We know that Alex is a regional winner. Can't call him out. My heart says to Thweek took the pilot skill. So let's go ahead and bump him up to pilot skill 10. Alrighty, so we're getting on the way here. Um, Dalen is going to be moving first. Uh, one mistake there I did notice. Dalen should be at PS9, not, not 8. So let's fix that. It's picking up the... Uh, Dalen Oberos Star Viper uh, pilot skill. So yeah, it all comes down to the approach. Um, Craig was a 6-0 and coming into today. So we know that he knows how to fly these ships. So Craig starting by going away. Um, Tirani Kulda does have long range scanners. We expect to see that target lock come out here. And here he goes. He's target locking Miranda. I mean, while you have the firepower, it is good to try to just get Miranda off the board. We probably see a bank in here from, uh, yeah, I mean, with the bullseye firing arc, we expect to see a bank in uh, from Tirani to be able to line up Miranda. With that bullseye firing arc, you get that free target lock at the start of combat. Especially he's moving at PS9, so he'll be able to see whether he's going to get it or not on her. Then you turn in uh, Tarani Kulda and uh, focus, and you have two harpoons plus Thweek uh, bearing in here to, uh, to do some meaningful damage to Alex's Miranda. But um, Alex has a lot of experience with Miranda, so I don't know if he, uh, he's going to let uh, Craig do that. Uh, yes, and let me uh, switch up that initiative token. Slide to the left. Oops. This initiative was passed because Craig comes, is coming in with a 97-point bid, and Alex is at 99. So Miranda, one forward. I mean, this is a safe choice. It probably gets her out of uh, out of range. Um, but if Dalen came fast enough, it might catch her. Oh, there's Dalen. I think he is going to catch her. That bullseye might be lined up. Let's take a look here. 
It's always tough to see at this angle. Oh man, I think that bullseye is on. He's target locking with his action. I guess from this angle he might see that it is out. Which I guess it's better to guarantee whether or not you have it. You can always try the uh, line up the arc. No, yeah, the bullseye firing arc. Oh. A little earthquake there and a camera. And we're target locking uh, Tarani, uh, not Tarani, uh, Dalen. Here comes Tarani. He probably will have range three. He's probably going to target lock with his, with his action. <coughs> All right, he has a he has a target lock already. He's focusing. And here comes Thweek. Saying, I want to help. I want to shoot things too. I don't know if he's going to be able to get um, Thweek's gun on target. But he's in a position to do some damage next turn. Craig is looking at the board, trying to figure out what he wants to do with Thweek. That rock right in the middle is, is really kind of messed up his approach a bit. Uh, at least with Thweek, he probably would have liked to be able to fan her out and, uh, and get all three guns on target. Yeah, this is going to be a, a harpoon fest. I don't think this is going to be a very long game at all. Until we get to the, the, the very end game. So there's Tweak. Doing his thing. Tweak should be out of range. The question is whether or not Torani is going to have range. And I, th I don't know. That looks really far away. I think Dalen might be ge getting lit up here. So this is Harpoon Missile coming from Nim. Just rolling in the box. Spending the lock on the first on those three dice. And guidance chips hit crit. Dalen does not mind that. No evades there. He's gonna take two and the harpooned condition. And Tarani Kulda is just out. That one forward was very strong. Here comes Harpoon Missile from uh, Dalen. Going to probably spend that target lock. And guidance chips for a crit there. Miranda's going to lose three shields. So sitting at one and harpooned. This is Miranda TLT. And regen's on the last shot there. So up to two shields. Those shields, st they're stacked up. Okay. Well, the fact the fact that Tarani Kulda could not get in range, I think, is the thing that hurt Craig the most. If Alex had come anything far faster than a one, um, Miranda would have probably have a couple damage cards right now. But uh, Alex was able to play the range game. Uh, he guessed correctly and uh, went slow.
That's Nim's card on the left. He, he had forgot to put shields on. On the outside there, that's Nim's card. Alrighty, so taking a look here, um, Nim has already fired one of his harpoon missiles. He does have extra munitions, so he still has one in the tank. Okay. Yes, Alex did win the Phoenix Regional a couple weeks ago with this same list, but of course under different rule set, right? So uh, no trajectory simulator gen genius here combination, but both those cards are still very good together. Now we're probably going to see a bomb launch here. Um, oh, here's a three bank. You know, I think the three bank to the right and dropping a bomb with experimental interface probably does fit. Uh, there, I see the slam. Yep. Oh, it's going to bump, it looks like. Alex is probably hoping for it to, to land on the other side of Tarani. Sorry, other side of Dalen and be able to drop a bomb on him, but that's not going to happen. He's going to get caught here. But um, probably only takes a shot from Thweek, or maybe no shots if everything kind of bumps. So, one question, if he bumps, can he still use experimental interface? Let's go ahead and read experimental interface. Experiment for after you perform an action, you perform a uh, I think he sure, he sure can. Yep, it doesn't matter that he bumped. You can still bomb. So right there, once per round, after you perform an action, so he completed the slam m action, which was a maneuver, you may perform one free action from an equipped upgrade card with the action header, then receive one stress token. So the bomb still goes. So because Experimental Interface doesn't have any text saying like uh, once per round after you perform an action if you did not bump or if you did not uh, you know, overlap or you know, have a stress already, it, uh, I guess the overlapping ruling would be the only thing because it is an action. Um, so that, that's the reason why he's able to do that. There's Dalen. One forward. So he might just miss that bomb. Dalen is still harpooned. Right, exactly. Must I'm I, I'm saying if he uh, here's barrel roll because chemos have have barrel roll, so it's gonna be safe from that bomb, which is which uh, Craig doing that one forward was fantastic. Here's Nim, one banking to the right it looks like, and it's gonna be right in that bullseye firing arc. Oh no, uh, trajectory simulator first. So Tarani's gonna be eating at least. One bomb. And it is a bomblet generator. So that's infinite bombs. One forward. He's sitting right in that uh, bullseye firing arc. He could not spend tokens right now.
to uh, modify his dice. The thing is that if he barrel rolls, he's is more for positioning than modification because he wouldn't ha get a focus anyway. Um, he could target lock for offense right now, but uh, looks like he's electing to uh, to do that. Now this is Scum Nim. Scum Nim uh, can prevent bombs from going off, so he can he can go through the that set of cluster mines no problem. And yes, Dalen would have had a target lock. Well, here's Tarani turning in. So we're gonna have two guns on uh, on Nim. No dice. Uh, this Nim does not get the protection from the bombs. And then Thweek has some decisions to make. This might bump, but he will have his gun on on Nim. So Nim is going to be taking uh, nine dice this turn. Um, modifiers only from Torani, it looks like, because Torani has a focus. Against one agility. Uh, uh, experimental interface, that's how those bombs were dropped. So here comes uh, oh, it's bomblet generator first, so that's two hits. It's two eyeballs. And here's Thweek. And we're going to add Sabine to that. So I'm going to update damage here in a minute. There was a lot going on. And there's a crit. I'm going to have to run over there and, uh, and find out what that crit. Can we get the crit in the box? Major hole breach. All right, everything's face up on Thweek. So let's update that. That bomb that generator did some work. That's two shields off Miranda. So Miranda is out of shields. Uh, Dalen took two hole damage and nothing for Tarani. So nothing at PS10 for Nim. This is TLTs into Thweek. Uh, Alright, I was actually, no, sorry. I miscalculated that. Uh, Week is at one. Because it's a being damage. So that's one card onto Nim. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was Thweek. So Thweek gets one damage into, uh, into Miranda. Here goes Tarani. And he's going to spend the focus for hit crit. That's an evade. So he's taking one shield on Nim. Here's Dalen. Dalen has nothing. And it's going to be one more shield. So unfortunately, no meaningful damage there on Alex's list, honestly. <laughs> Alex has done more damage to himself with the bombs. Uh, Miranda will be able to regenerate here on her shot. She probably does. Um, she... Doesn't have any shields to pump the shot against um, against Thweek, but you you still I think you still you take the shot on Thweek. Oh, she slammed. You're right. She cannot attack this turn. 
Can't shoot, no slam. I mean, slam, no shoot. <laughs> All right, so next turn, uh, if Alex wants, he can go one forward and just drop a set of cluster mines to get Thweek off the board. Um, and probably do an extra damage to Dalen um, using Sabine's ability. So Nim has shot one of his harpoon missiles. He still has one left from um, from extra munitions. Miranda has used one set of her cluster mines, but still has her uh, her seismic charges. So it looks like we are waiting for Miranda's dial. Um, the fact that she moves first, I think I think the move is a one forward. As long as the angle fits, I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, the only reason is probably just trying to be conservative um, with Miranda. But with one, one hole left on Thweek, I think you do it. All right, so rethinking Tarani Kulda's dial. And now we wait. So what do we think uh, Nim's going to be doing here? I mean, Nim can go through the bombs pretty safely, but like a three bank to the left probably. Um, has some coverage from the bombs there, able to leverage the TLT. Probably see Dalen, man, Dalen's in a really kind of weird spot. He can't chase Nim too effectively. Maybe does a K turn. All right, so Miranda is dropping a seismic charge. Oops. So opponent gets to adjust uh, and uh, things get bumped. So drops the seismic shark. He's, he, he looks at, uh, he doesn't think Thwee can get out of it. Alright, so focus for our action. Use that TLT. I, there is no... <laughs> I think the other thing is that uh, Miranda doesn't need to use the bomb because she can TLT Thweek. There's no way Thweek can get to her uh, with both rocks on the side. One forward from Dalen. Kind of surprised Dalen didn't peel out to come back around. But it's going to take some time to get a target lock here on Nim. So it looks like um, Craig is going to be changing his pri target priority here. Bomb the generator because he can. So he has two bombs out there that he can, uh, he can choose to lock out. He does get a block here on, um, on Nim, it looks like. Now the bomb that is underneath um, 
there has already gone off. The one underneath Tarani was from last turn. They just didn't bother to take it out. Um, a 4K might get over. I think we got that 4K. Though Tarani will be eating a bomb here. So probably go off the edge better. All right, so there's the K turn. Um, Nim will be taking a damage here from uh, Tarani Kolda's ability because he doesn't have any to he doesn't have a fo any focus or evade tokens, and he doesn't. Uh, Oh, wait, no. You can decide to just throw away zero tokens. Never mind. No, his ability does nothing. <laughs> Forget about that. The uh, Confused. Um, looks like Tweak will have a shot on Nim, too. No TLTs from Nim this turn. Right, yeah, I messed up. I love the delay on the chat. But Thweek will be dying this turn. Uh, will not get a shot. Craig, his only chance is to possibly boost in front of Nim's arc. And then um, hope to survive the hope to survive the range one shot from uh, from Nim. I mean that's his only chance. Just got just got to roll natties. Nim doesn't have any modifiers either. He's got no, no mods and no mods. Usually the, the attack dice win on that, on average. So he's going to let um, the one next to Tarani Kulda go off. So it's just Tarani. Going to roll two dice. Uh, looks like it's one. I go range one on Thweek. That's three hits. He's got to roll natties. No focuses. And that's going to take Thweek off the board. And he gave himself a chance. They're all face up. So Thweek's off the board. Here comes Tarani, uh, reaching, reaching for Miranda. This checking is, uh, there you go, Harpoon. Oh, he didn't use his ability. He didn't use his ability on Miranda. He, ah, he missed Tarani, uh, the option on Miranda. Anyway, here we go. Harpoons, target lock. Three, he doesn't have guidance ships on that one. That's a blank. All three of those are going to be sticking. And Miranda is sitting at one hole. And the firepower here uh, can still win him the game, though uh, Nim and Miranda, each of these pieces being so expensive, and none of Craig's walkers' uh, ships cost that much. Uh, Dalen is, uh, is hurt, still has a chance, though. Probably K turns next turn. Um, Tarani's pretty healthy. So here's TLTs on Tadalin. Um, if Alex rolls a crit in there, so that's automatic one, because he only has one agility. If he rolls a crit, He's going to regen there. Oh, it doesn't matter. But if he would have rolled a crit, the, uh, it does stick. So 
So looks like D Daylin's living on three, and everything else is up to date. All right. And let's regen that shield from, from there. I mean, Nim can still do a lot of work here. He still has eight health here um, because he does get the advantage of at least seeing where Dalen goes. Nim probably takes out Dalen, and we spend you know, 35 to 40 minutes um, with Tarani trying to, trying to take out um, Tarani. I think the move here for Craig is probably to just focus down Nim if he can and try to be in spots where Miranda can't shoot. Alex wants to be able to shoot, though. Alex wants to be able to shoot. Here's a seismic charge. Both seismic charges are gone off of Miranda. So Miranda has created a no-go zone. Don't go here. You, don't, you do not want to go here. No, but Alex is smart. He's bringing Miranda around. She's going to be, if she gets shot, it's going to be range three. Um, he's trying to make sure that he can shoot. Uh, Miranda does have two harpoon conditions on her. If uh, Tarani bailed hard, not bailed hard, if went hard after Miranda and rolls a crit, that is a dead Miranda because of the harpoon condition. I'm re I'm actually I'm really excited for uh, for Craig's dial here. That looks like it's a three bank to the right. Three bank to the right. Uh, oh no, sorry, is that Nim's dial? Okay, that's Nim's dial. All right, Nim is three bank to the right, or to the left. Excuse me. Yes, Miranda has one shield. <laughs> There's the focus from Nim. And that is a three bank to the right. So Craig has has a shot here. It's obstructed. It's most likely range two. He's bare. Man. He's avoiding the TLTs. He, he gets to use his ability here, if he remembers. So I'm pretty sure he's inside that bullseye firing arc. Barrel rolls away from the bomb. Can only hold one bomb. He's going to remove that one, hold the other. Let's get rid of uh, Miranda's seismic charges. They are gone. And here's Nim, TLTing Tarani. Uh, sorry, TLT and Dalen. And he forgot to use his ability again. And that's an additional card. Here comes Tarani, range one. Takes a couple shields there. And harpoon missiles into 
There's Chips. So he takes it all. Hit, hit, crit is a major explosion. No extra. Nim is sitting at two hole. Oh, tr Tarani triggers after attacking. Okay, I had that confused. Sorry, I'm th thinking it's the start of combat ability. So these are TLTs into Tarani. Spends a focus. So it's going to be taking one. And has a chance to evade, doesn't do it. He's going to be taking his first damage card. All right, so now with Nim sitting at two hull, Miranda sitting at, she got a shield, so let's add that on for her. Sitting at three. Um, Craig can conceivably, I think they're both, I think we're still at a 50-50 right now. Um, the pilot skill advantage on Tarani can help. Um, Miranda still has a bombing run left in her. A single crit kills Miranda if it gets through. Um, hmm. Very interesting uh, situation we're in here. And while we're waiting here, I want to remind everybody um, that this all is made possible by the Gold Squadron podcast patrons. Uh, you go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. You can see all the wonderful people who are supporting us. Um, if you want to join that team of people, um, they are the reason why I'm able to make all these trips and get all this equipment. So you can go to patreon.com and get awesome swag and support the show at the same time. The other way you can support the show, and it costs you no money, if you have Amazon Prime, you can um, connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, become a Twitch Prime subscriber. It is it is free. It's part of your Amazon Prime subscription. You can do that once a month, and it literally throws free money at us. Um, it's about two dollars and, and change, uh, just for clicking a button. And uh, many hands makes light work. But here we go. Here's Nim. Uh, Nim. Here's Miranda. I think she's set up for a bombing run. Too hard. Nope. She's gonna slam down a focus and say, "Come at me, bro." So we'll see how fast Dalen comes here. Uh, Dalen does have. Uh, unhinged astromech so that three bank is a green does it land it lands N takes a stress out it's going to focus and you definitely know he's going to be shooting Miranda I think this turn um, he's got to hope for that crit and I think it would have uh, but Dalen still has a target lock on on Nim I think Okay. Ah, so we're going to be dropping a bomblet generator. Oh, that could kill Dalen right there. So we know Dalen uh, needs to roll some blanks here in order to uh, in order to live. He's going to be getting one from Sabine for sure. And 
All right, there's a three bank, disengage, get some space to be able to TLT. It's gonna come down to that bomb. Oh. Yep, 75% of the time, Dalen does die. You're, you are completely right. You're right, uh, the harpoon condition is missing off of Nim. Two forward from Tarani. Barrel roll might get him just out. We're going to allow that one to go off. We're going to see if it hits Tarani. It is just out by the skin of his teeth. Oh, he didn't remember Sabine, so Dalen is dead. He got really excited on the roll. Sabine will kill him. Oh, that feels bad when you didn't think, when you thought you were fine. And it turns out you were not. So Dalen's off the board. And now here comes uh, here comes Tarani. All right, two hits and an eyeball. Oh, this is TLTs. Okay. So it takes one and takes nothing on the second shot. Two into Nim. This could do it. And that is a dead Nim. So with Nim on the board, off the board, pretty much Torani's uh, win condition here is getting a crit. Um, it's going to spend focus for an automatic damage with uh, TLTs because Kimugilos only have uh, one agility. He gets one. He does regen on that and takes another. Let's give Miranda that extra shield. Now he, man, he's gotta, he's got to, got to, got to get that gun on target. Uh, Miranda, I mean, Miranda is really in the driver's seat right now. If Miranda disengages too hard, though, um, you gotta remember that Tarani Kolda does have the reload action, so he can get the, um, he can get it back. I'm curious. I'm not super familiar with the Enforcer title. Let's take a look and see if that could come into play here. Oops, wrong thing. Great card. Enforcer. After defending, if the attacker is inside your bullseye firing arc, it receives a stress token. Okay. So, hasn't come into play yet. All right. It looks like he's going to... He's going to try to get that off. Yeah, two hard, two hard clusters. And I think that fits.
All right, so the two turn definitely fits. And here come the cluster mines. Sabine's going to guarantee one. Um, the likeness, likeliness of rolling two, uh, leaving at least one more damage, is pretty high. So that gets dropped right on him. So we know one fits for sure. All right, and he he rolls the damage there, and that's going to be the game. So that takes Torani out of the out of the game. The bomb finishes him off. Tough break there. And you can't you can't do much about bombs there. It is unblockable damage. I know a lot of people have uh, some strong feelings about uh, bomb damage, and it, I I get it. It's unblockable. It's hard to play around. Um, at least we had you know the recent trajectory simulator change does nerf it. But one thing we see here from Alex is that he, even though he did win the regional with the trajectory simulator. Um, playing the wrong way, right, because it wasn't, a, uh, it wasn't a, a nerf, it was a clarification. Um, he played great. He was all in all the right spots. Um, Craig had a lot of damage output, but, but Alex was able to put him in a spot where uh, the bombs really did the work. Uh, got a lot of the, of the damage in. We have left um, 29 minutes left in the round. Um, I'm going to try to bring you some updates from around um, from the other tables and um, I did actually just I got the picture of the bracket so I'll be able to post that up and uh, and show it here actually you know what I might just make a digital bracket that way I can show it and look a little prettier so um, give me a couple minutes and I will get that done um, you can expect the next round to start um, Somewhere around noon, uh, I know they're planning not to take a lunch break. We're just playing all the way through, which uh, does help with being able to catch the final. Um, but uh, we'll be back.